Have you ever wondered what we might see if we could pull back the curtain of time to that very first Christmas? If we could, I imagine the story began in heaven, something like this. God was looking over heaven's balcony one day, shaking his head at all the wrong things he were doing down on earth. Oh man, this isn't quite what I had in mind when I created Earth. I feel so far away from my kids down there. Why? It's just hard to be friends with people when you don't like what they're doing. I think it's time. Time for what, Lord? Time for us to step in. Shall we raise the army, Lord? Take you to the lesson? No, I don't think we should send an army. Maybe just one person. What person? Brilliant! They won't be expecting that. Lord, if we're sending just one person, we'll have to be someone very powerful and very strong. Because there's tons of people down there. No, they don't have to be strong. They'll be going as a newborn baby. A newborn baby? baby? Brilliant! They won't be expecting that! Lord, this plan is rather risky. A newborn human baby is small and weak. This baby must be born to people who will protect him. Maybe a great ruler. Almighty King? Actually, I was thinking I could send into a young peasant girl whose heart is beautiful and full of courage. A peasant girl? Brilliant! <laughs> they won't be expecting that! My Lord, I see you're planning to take Earth by surprise. No one will be expecting a newborn baby born to a humble villager. But what good can a baby do? This will not just be any baby. I'm sending in the Prince of Heaven in disguise. The Prince of Heaven? Our Prince? Your son? Please, I won't be expecting that. Lord, this is too risky. Sending the Prince in disguise is a tiny baby, born not to kings, but to humble villagers. Surely our Prince cannot be born in a cottage. He must be born in a palace. You're right. He shouldn't be born in a cottage. Phew. He'll be born in a stable. Those who are lucky will find him, and his mission will bring all people closer to me, even if they do something really wrong. When the prince is done, nothing will get between them and my love. Can we leave some clues for the people looking? Like in the stars? Clues in the stars? Sure, why not? We can make one huge one that points to him. Can we sing for him? Yes, can we sing? God looked at their hopeful faces, and his heart was touched by their love for the fence. Alright, you can sing. Yay! But not in front of the whole world. That would just be weird. And no kings or rulers. How about we sing for some shepherds? That's a lonely job. Those blokes could do with some cheering up. Brilliant. They won't be expecting that. You know the rest of the story. An angel visited a humble girl with a courageous heart and told her the good news. She will have a baby and he will be the Prince of Heaven who would help Earth to be close to God again. As planned, the baby was born in a stable about as far from a palace as you can get. A group of wise men noticed some strange clues in the stars. They packed their balloons and followed the star right to a baby. And of course, a bunch of lonely shepherds were guiding their sheep when all of a sudden the sky was lit up by a thousand of angels singing. Nobody would ever expect that.